And today I'm reacting to this gotcha story called Living with a Ghost. And I'm here with a special guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, my name is Andrew. Ariel hit me up on Casting Call Club just a couple weeks ago, and now I'm here. So he's going to be helping me voice the male voices in this story. Let me know if you guys would like for us to continue with more collabs in the future. I will have all his socials in the description down below as well as the original story. So let's go ahead and get this started. Breaking news. Reporting from the city of Arcadia. Cats are immediately being captured to prevent the spread of the virus. Uh, hey, stop right there. Uh, I think I lost them. Now I just need to find my father. Those who are trying to escape are to be executed. There was an accident at the Fuji Road. Oh, my head. Where am I? What happened? You were involved in a car accident. But don't worry, it was just a small cut. Here's your medicine, sir. Should I call your parents? I can't find your phone, so... I, I have no parents. Huh? I said don't worry about it. Uh, um, oh, well, uh, just call me when you need me, sir. Uh, Here's your med, sir. I need to take two medicine? What two, sir? This is your only medicine. Who are you? And... What did you give me earlier? Can you see me? I think I'm just imagining things, but I think it's true. What are you trying to say? Uh, Clarissa, look, she can't see me, but you can. Oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? Ah! What was that? What happened? Well, I don't know. I was asking you. Oh no, how did I end up like this? I have no idea. Uh, great, just great. The only person who can see me doesn't even know who I am. Um, see you then. Ah, stop pulling me! I'm not pulling you. I'm just standing here. Hmm. Look, what's that? Whoa, what is this shining ball? Uh. You must unlock the truth about your death in order to proceed to the afternoon. How am I supposed to unlock the truth if I'm stuck with this man? Be thankful someone is able to see you. Whatever. Ugh. Why is this happening to me? Can you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. Hmm. Let's go home. Don't you have a car? I got into an accident. What did you expect? Aren't you scared you're going to a stranger's house? It's not like you can touch me. That's not what I mean. I know. You're just a kid. You wouldn't do that. Excuse me. I'm 22. You're <laughs> still younger than me. How old? are you? 22 and a half. Do you live alone? Where are your parents? Oh, I'm sorry. No need. They're not dead. They just left us. Us? Can you stop staring at me? I know I'm attractive, but please, it makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I might not be able to slap you, but I can still throw things at you. Anyways, I was just thinking of how to tell you. What? Help me in finding out how I died. <laughs> delicious. Wow, it's been so long since I ate real food. Huh? Why? I'm busy with work that I don't have time to cook. What's your work? I'm a detective. What? You didn't tell me. But why aren't you going to work? I'm on my leave. Well, since you're a detective, it will be easier for us to find out how I died. What? No, I'm not assigned to your case. Oh, man, please. Oh, I know. If you help me, I'm gonna cook for you every day. Then after that, we find out how I died. I'm gonna leave you in peace. Fine. Yay! I'll probably regret this later. Wake up! Stop it! Just wake up! I wanna sleep! Wake up! We need to find out how he died! Ugh. Why would I even help you? First off, you stay here at my house without my permission. But you! I didn't say yes, and mostly, I don't even know your name. Oh, right. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Pina Lim. Are you really going to introduce ourselves first thing in the morning? Aren't you going to introduce yourself? But it's okay. I already saw your name when we were in the hospital. Lay Torres. Do you remember something before you died? Hmm. Oh, I know. I remember eating fish fillet as my last dish. I miss it. Can you please focus? Last time you were in the hospital, you called someone. Chris, uh, Chris. Clarissa, she's my best friend. Is Miss Clarissa Young here? Oh, there she is. Miss Clarissa Young? Um, yes. Well, can I help you? Leah Torres, detective. Can I ask you about your friend? Uh, oh, sure. Nina. I mean, Miss Pina is your friend, right? Yeah. Do you remember when you last saw her? <sighs> Somewhere between October 1 to 6. The day she died was because of a car accident. She's on her leave, but she went here in the hospital. It's like she wants to tell me something, but she can't. And she seemed tense. What happened after? She just rushed out saying she needs to find Dr. Foster. Hmm. Okay. 
Where's Dr. Foster? I'm not sure, but I think he's in the hospital where all of the cats were captured due to the spreading of the cat virus. Virus? Never heard about that. I know. It was a sudden capturing. You said she died because of a car accident. Do you know any other details? I'm sorry. That's all I know. All right. Thanks for the information. It helped a lot. Don't be sad about her death. I'm sure she won't like seeing her friend sad. She must be okay right now. Really? She said you died because of the car accident. Who is Dr. Foster? What are you looking at? Do I have something on my face? I think I saw you somewhere. What are you talking about? Mm, oh, nothing. So, what were you saying? Who is Dr. Foster? Why were you rushing out finding him? Dr. Foster? He's my father. Your father? Why were you looking for him before you died? I don't remember. What about the cat capturing because of the virus? Virus? But anyways, we already know how I died. What will happen? I don't feel anything magical. That shining ball must be a scam. Maybe you need to know who got you into that accident. Nah, that's not what the shining ball said. But I guess. Uh, this is just so exhausting. Wow, even ghosts can still feel tired. I'm not a ghost, I'm a soul. Isn't that the same thing? Well, I thought only humans, aka me, can feel tired. Hmm. Miss Calurisa and Tina died because of a car accident and somewhere between October 1 through 6. That's also when my accident happened. I think I saw you somewhere. What if I killed Tina? Is this where we'll find my grave? I guess. Miss Calurisa gave me this address. I see. I kind of don't want to see it. Lay, let's go out since it's your day off. No, I'm too tired to go out. But you've been sitting there since you woke up. Stop bothering me. Hmm. I was just thinking if we could go see my grave. Fine, but stop doing it. Stop what? Oh, well, I already made your lunch. You can eat it first. <sighs> now that I'm realizing it, am I really dead? Huh? Lei? <laughs> Lei, help! <laughs> Lei! <laughs> Tina, can you stop shouting? Did I just bump into you? Huh? Uh, young man, talking to yourself isn't normal. Anyways, are you thirsty? Oh, for free? Who sells for free? Uh, oh, I'll I'll get two then. I knew you were thirsty. Oh, wi wi with your friend. Must be a lonely life, huh? Wait, I haven't paid you yet. Hey, I paid it. I forgot he can't see you. Where did you go and why were you shouting? I followed you because I thought you left me. What left? Y you know I was taking a call. That's right. Then who was? Uh, I knew Lei was taking a call, but why did I still think that he's the guy in there? <gasps> Maybe he's connected to my... I think you're just hallucinating. How far did you go? I think I reached there. Whoa, that's far from before. Yeah, I can't go that far from you until now. I don't know how that happens. Maybe it's because you're getting closer to knowing the truth about your death. Yeah, if we find out the truth about my death, we can break that thing that connects us. And you will finally be free from me. Yeah, why am I getting sad? But I don't think I was just hallucinating a while ago. Can a soul even hallucinate? Well, I think you are. Or you saw my my brother. You have a brother? I'm a twin. You didn't tell me. You weren't asking. So, that's weird. Why would Pina see my brother in a cemetery? What if he's much cuter and kinder than you? Uh, excuse me? Him? Kind? Pfft, nah. Cute is acceptable because he looks like me. I take back what I said. Hey! Uh, Pina, are you okay? Yeah. Can we go home now? Why did I feel that earlier? It hurts as if I'm dying again. Is it because I went far from Lei? I don't think so, but I kept remembering the guy that looked like Lei. Uh, I wouldn't want that to happen again. I'm scared. I miss my father. Hey, Pina, I have to go somewhere. And since you have no choice, you have to come with me. Okay. Where are we going, by the way? To my brother, then your father. Lay, over here! So what is this about? Wow, you really look like him. Of course, he's my twin, you idiot. Did you just call me an idiot? Wow, he's even scarier than Lay. I wasn't talking to you. Please don't fight. Anyways, should we get a drink? No need, just direct me to the point. I was thinking of having a dinner with our parents. Not interested. But, did you kill the escapees? I'm sorry, sir. We lost the woman. She's a yellow-haired cat. Huh? You two are useless. That's Pina Lim, the rarest cat. I swear I'll get to you and your father. Car accident. I hope the driver is okay. But I can't treat you now. Found you! Uh, 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 no, I can't die like this. Crap, Pina, are you okay? Lay, why didn't you tell me that you were the one who killed me? <laughs> Pina! Did our connection just break? That means someone call an ambulance! They stopped the bleeding. His life is still at stake. Huh? 
Thank you for your help, young man. I didn't do much. I just stopped the bleeding. It was a big help. Are you somehow a med student? Oh, I, I was, but I stopped. A scientist now, actually. You should continue it. You're gonna make a good doctor. <laughs> Pina! Where are you? Pina found out the cause of her death and the one who killed her. You, you must have known the truth about your death in order to proceed to the afterlife. Pina? No. I'm not even sure if I was really the one who killed her. This isn't a right thinking of a detective. I need to collect more evidence. And if possible, I'm gonna find Pina. Huh? All right, so that was part one of living with a ghost. Let me know in the comments if you would like for us to continue this in part two and part three as well. Again, I will have the original in the description down below along with Andrew's social, so definitely make sure to check him out as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Andrew, for joining me. Yeah, no problem. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.